what's going on y'all this takes from hands in the dirt and i'm gonna do a quick little walk around the garden to show you guys what's going on right now all right let's get into it all right as you guys can see on the back side of here one i got to come in and get these weeds out of here and get all these tomatoes out of here tomatoes are still growing really good in this bed I pulled some of the ones out on the end. See a lot of them are falling on the ground. That's cool. I just turned those over into the dirt. But we still got tomatoes and that's cool. All right, let's go into this bed. Still got a couple melons. With this being the largest one. Since I got time, I'll just let them do what they're gonna do. All right, this bed, you can see I pulled the uh, cages out. Got a volunteer cabbage right here. Had been growing um, throughout the summer, so I let, it, I let it grow. All right, you can see the alfalfa that I put out has expanded now it's just uh, going into the soil so I'm gonna prep this bed and get this one ready for the fall we'll add some compost to this right here in this one this bed see I got bell peppers in here I gotta come and get before something get into them yep, got little bell peppers going pretty good and then I got jalapenos over there on that one Come on around here. Still got some eggplants coming in. Some peppers here. And here we got some habanero peppers. Cow peas growing everywhere. Come and take those every day. This is one of my last Korean melons. I hope this one makes it. I lost. Uh, lost about five of them nice ones I had three of them three or four of them the uh, little worm got in and, and drilled a hole in them and then I tried to bag them with a plastic bag the other ones one that was larger than this one and I let it sit in there too long and it over ripened and this is the last one looks like even though I have a few little flowers but I'm gonna pull that as soon as that turns yellow all right, so yeah, we got more purple cow hole peas. They're still flowering. Peas all in here, or even down in here, just when you want to pull them, they keep pumping them out. So like I said, I have time, I'll let them do their thing. Right here, I have some turmeric, all right? My turmeric is growing right here. It's been here all season, which is cool. Something I hadn't showed you guys. Oh, I come in here and got into it. It's my uh, beets. Ooh, like something I came and got into my beets. But that's fine. Like I said, I don't eat that. I only put them in smoothies anyway. Come around here. Look at the okra. I'm getting okra every day. So I'll come and harvest some of this. I was really pleased with the okra put uh, this year. Really putting out. Right here, as you can see, I have pulled some of the tomato plants from back here. I got a couple of more that has a few on there, so I'm gonna let them try to hang in there and see what they do. Um, the Aunt Rubies, I only got two tomatoes from the Aunt Rubies, and they really didn't get no size, and one of them cat faced. Uh, but I'm still gonna taste it, probably won't grow them again. Um, and if I do, I'm gonna pick a selected spot or maybe grow it in a tote or something like that, I may give it another shot. Yeah, so we got one right here. 
growing, but they didn't get to the size that I wanted, but it, you know, it's hard to keep up with all of them. All right, this little bed, it's about ready. Y'all can see my color, man, that orange is, they're starting to turn orange. This one is getting little orange buds on it. My succession planting with my sugar, I mean, uh, my strike beans, they're coming in. My yellow wax beans are coming in. I'm doing just fine. See, this is one of my blueberries that I put in the greenhouse to keep stuff from attacking them. Got ants on the bottom down there. You want me? Mm hmm. Very good. All right, I need to bring that out so I can work. It's one of my other blueberry bushes right here. It's done. No more berries on it, but it's still growing. All right, let's come over and take a look at the starts. I fed them the other day, and that seemed to have done the trick. They're like they jumping pretty good. Like they're doing pretty good since I fed them. Cool, cool, cool. This tray right here, all of it is Romanesco broccoli. Yeah, I'm gonna babysit that guy. And then I do have some more planted, some backup. Uh, my chocolate uh, mint is going to seed. Pepper plant, putting out some peppers that I got in this container. These are apples that I grew from seeds. This right here is an apple that I grew from seeds. All right, so yeah, a lot of my herbs, lavender from seed dying out. I think I'm gonna try to get a quick little harvest of some more uh, basil, but I'm gonna plant it and put it inside the greenhouse where it's warm. It's another one of my blueberry bushes is still growing. All right, cool. I remember I planted purple, purple whole peas everywhere. I got them growing up in nectarine trees. Been getting plenty of them off of there. Got them growing on this plum tree. All right, let's look at these grapes. All right, some of these are ready. These muscadines. They ain't get any size this their first year. As long as they got the taste. Alright. You guys can see. Got plenty of grapes on there. This one right here also. I can't wait to Ison's. Uh get ready to start selling some more. I'm gonna buy more. Probably about five or six more plants. So we can have more. Alright, let's move on. All right, y'all. Feel my sweet potatoes. Still trellised up. You guys saw. I posted my. I posted my auntie's harvest. Of her sweet potatoes. She did a great job. She had plenty. Right here. It's my spaghetti squash. Got a little flour on it. Like I said, I planned them late, so I don't know if they're gonna do anything or not. We'll see. Over here at Misfit Island. Y'all see my little trap. Ain't got nothing in it. My fig trees, lemon trees, blackberry. I'm gonna have to build a trellis for that. Some more cherries. And then I planted tomatoes over here. Which I'm gonna have to come up and get some of these tomatoes. Yeah, I have to cut this grass again. It's been raining a lot. Grass is jumping up quick. Let's check these muscadines over here. See what we got going on. Uh, yeah, there's plenty over here. Plenty over here. Uh, I'm about to prune this pear tree. Yeah, that got that top got to come out. Moon glow pear tree. 
And I really like the growth on this dwarf apple tree. It's done well. Melons still growing, so I'm gonna let them grow. Some tomatoes in here. Yeah. Got some banana peppers I need to come and get. I'm gonna get these and these tomatoes out of here. Then I go ahead and pull these plants. That's pretty much it. Quick look at what's going on in the garden. This is Stacy from Hands in the Dirt. Remember, if you have some seeds, put them in the dirt.